Mike Simmons with Hooking and Reeling TV. Today I'm going to give you an update from a previous video regarding the top two performing mobile fish finders. To my left we have the Deeper 3.0 and to my right we have the Fish Hunter Military Grade. Both of these are basic models, however they both do offer higher end models that come with a few extra bells and whistles. The Deeper 3.0 is priced right around $199 to $249 depending where you purchase. And the Fish Hunter Military Grade is priced right around $149 to $175, also depending where you purchase. Overall packaging, I cannot lie, I was a bit disappointed with the Deeper 3.0. Packaging wasn't too well and the boxing alone was not appealing at all. What was inside did not get any better either. It comes with the actual sonar, nice little carrying case, and a couple screw caps so you can tie a fishing line to. The Fish Hunter Military Grade came with a bit more for the bang for the buck. Came with the actual sonar, nice little charging dock, charging cable, nice little necklace to tie around your neck to hook your fish finder to when you're moving mobile, and the same kind of bag. Now both of the bags are a bit different as far as material, but it does the same exact thing that the Deeper does. Overall construction, I cannot lie, both of these are built fairly well and I like the design. The only thing that's going to really separate the two is the actual one being enclosed and the other not. So the Fish Hunter does not need to be opened up, nothing needs to be accessed inside as far as internal parts. However, the Deeper 3.0 needs to be opened up to get to the charging port. Now the Deeper 3.0 has a nice little blinking light inside there. However, you need to purchase a aftermarket transparent top to get that light to be viewable in the dark. Fish Hunter Military Grade comes with a built-in light that can be seen through that little cone right there. Overall connectivity and reliability, now both of these are connected via Bluetooth. Like I said previously, they both do offer higher end models that can be connected via Wi-Fi that will give you a bit more range. Overall reliability, they both had great you know, they both did great with me. Um, the only time I really had to reconnect and, you know, the reliability was really questioned was when water conditions were a bit higher than regular. Operating system wise, I utilized both iOS and Android and I cannot lie, I felt that the iPhone operating system ran a bit smoother than the Android system. The way I can tell you or break it down to you is for you gamers out there is when you're playing Call of Duty and you're going for the kill shot on PS4, you get that lag and you miss the shot. And when you play Xbox, you're going for the kill shot. It's just smooth and fluent and you get the kill. That's the real way I can explain it to you and I hope that makes sense. Overall screens and resolutions, I cannot lie, the Deeper 3.0 has a nice, beautiful screen to it. Um, the Fish Hunter... The cool thing about it is you can zoom in and you can zoom out, but the resolution isn't all there. Um, now, you know, updates is one thing that you really want to keep an eye on also. I've owned the two of these for a few months now and I've received regular updates, monthly, weekly. I mean, the, the two of them were, you know, minor bug fixes. Nothing, you know, severe that's really going to show you something drastically was changed or fixed or corrected. But just knowing that these two are being updated periodically gives you kind of a, a sense of, you know, relief knowing that these two pieces of equipment right here are being updated, you know, on a regular basis. Now, overall, my personal experience, I cannot lie, I, I enjoyed using both of these. Um, I feel the Deeper 3.0 was a bit more accurate than the uh, military grade. However, the military grade comes with a couple of different options that, you know, the Deeper did not offer. Um, the military grade offers a fisheye view, which gives you kind of a three-dimensional view of, say, here's your Deeper 3.0 and on your phone, and it gives you the cylinder cone that'll show you that if a fish is coming underneath it, and it just looks real, so, so realistic that that right there alone just made me want to play with it more. The Deeper 3.0 offers you know, fish icons that'll give you two different sizes um, and it moves, you know, kind of like traditional sonar and they, they both do. But the fish eye view on the military grade is something that really got me wanting to play with it a lot more. But overall, like I said, I really enjoyed the two of, the two of these 
sonars. And um, when it comes to the mobile fish finding market, these two are probably the two top competitive uh, brands on the market that you can possibly go out and purchase right now. So overall, the it, it's really pre user preference. It's Coke and Pepsi. Um, so you guys make the decision. However, the first 300 views that I get with a like, comment, and a subscription, I will give away this Fish Hunter military grade to one lucky winner. So please, again, like I said, subscribe, like, and comment.